Very often there comes a character who changes the whole meaning of the game. Jose Mourinho can be considered one such game changer. From breaking the odds at Porto, to giving Chelsea a name in world football, even getting the better of Pep Guardiola's Barcelona, Jose Mourinho did it all. He even went on to win a treble with Inter Milan. Adding to that, he made Manchester United Europa champions after nine years without European glory. There, after going to Roma and helped them secure UEFA Europa Conference League in 2022, making it their first European title in the club history. Jose Mourinho has solidified his status as one of the greatest football managers of all time. He is just the second manager to win five major European titles, joining Giovanni Trapattoni in achieving this feat. Jose Mourinho has likened his success as a coach to African strikers whom he described as the best when it comes to delivery of goals and trophies. According to Mourinho, he has always preferred to use Africans in his attacking lineup as a magic charm that wins his games. He said, My philosophy will never change. My center backs can come from anywhere, midfielders also. But my main striker should be of African origin. That is my lucky charm to win titles. In this video, we aim to explore into the underlying reasons behind this conviction, the impact African players have had on his teams, and the cultural significance that has shaped his perspective. By appreciating the symbiotic relationship between Mourinho and African striker, and how their journey together continues to shape the football landscape. Stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for videos like this weekly. What does a great manager do? Ideally, they take a group of players and make them greater than the sum of their parts. Perhaps never in the history of the game has a manager done that so well as Mourinho did in such a short time at Porto. After Porto failed to sign Benny McCarthy permanently in 2002, the player returned to Celta, where he enjoyed a miserable season, and Mourinho managed to nab him a year later for a sum of 7.8 million euros. In a recent interview, the South African legend revealed that Mourinho made him cry in their first meeting as the coach told him, Benny, I know of you and I have watched you. I think you are a fantastic player and I want you to be my guy. Jose told me that I could always speak to him, even if it was to get something off my chest. I started crying, really. I thought, wow. This had not happened to me in Europe, McCarthy said. He was treating me like a son and I thought, I cannot disappoint this guy. He has given me the lifeline that I want. I wanted to run through a brick wall for him. Porter McCarthy proved a huge success the following season. He earned the Golden Boot Award with 20 goals in 23 matches on the season's final match day, with a hat trick as they retained their league title, and was instrumental in Porto's run in the 2003-2004 UEFA Champions League, which they won. He scored two goals against Manchester United to defeat them in the second round. Chelsea had been ensconced in the top six of the Premier League for nigh on a decade by the time Mourinho arrived. With Roman Abramovich in the corridors of power, Chelsea had thrown money at the team. What was lacking, it was felt, was a coach with the swagger and the genius to turn a good side into champions. A special coach. At Chelsea, he oversaw the arrival of Didier Drogba from Olympique de Marseille. Drogba became the focal point of Chelsea's attack leading the Blues to the Premier League title, Chelsea's first in over 50 years. Drogba and Jose had a special relationship, as the latter signed the African football legend the moment he signed as a Chelsea manager in 2004. His decision was vindicated as the Ivorian helped Chelsea clinch back-to-back -back Premier League titles. Drogba became a feared name in the Premier League and European competitions. However, it was Drogba's attitude that stood out for Mourinho. The special one recalled his first meeting with Drogba as a Chelsea manager, stating, A few days passed, after the transfer, I met with Didier in a private airport in London. Again, he hugged me, but this time in an unforgettable way, an embrace that showed this man's gratitude and the affection he feels towards people who mean a lot to him. Indescribable. Then he told me, Thank you. I will fight for you. You won't regret it. I will stay loyal to you forever. And that's just what he's done, said the Portuguese. Notably, Drogba hit 33 goals, including 20 in the Premier League, during the 2006-2007 campaign. 
and also won his first African Footballer of the Year award. Drogba, now retired from professional football, told the BBC in 2018, Mourinho changed my life. He is someone really special to me. In 2008, Mourinho joined Italian club Inter Milan, where he won the Serie A title in his first season. In 2010, he led Inter Milan to a European treble of Serie A, Coppa Italia, and the UEFA Champions League. The first time an Italian club has achieved this. Perhaps his most notable signing of the summer of his second season was a swap deal of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, in exchange for Barcelona's Cameroonian striker Samuel Eto'o, and a reported £35 million. This transfer was the second most expensive in the history of the transfer market, after Cristiano Ronaldo moved to Real Madrid. Eto'o got off to a promising start with Inter by scoring two goals in the first two matches of the season. Continuing his outstanding form in Serie A and in the Champions League campaign, he was pivotal to Inter's attack line. Mourinho saw Eto as one of the best players he coached, making it clear that the Cameron legend deserved to win a Ballon d'Or. It's difficult to understand how Samuel Eto'o never won the Ballon d'Or with the impressive career he had, Mourinho once said in an interview. Samuel played for the best teams in the best leagues in the world. He scored an incredible number of goals and was successful in different leagues. He played three Champions League finals, winning two with Barcelona and scoring in both finals. He also won one Champions League at Inter and many league titles. He was the best striker in the world for several years, and I think he deserved a Ballon d'Or. But these are things out of our control, said the special one. Speaking to Joy Sports, Eto'o was asked who he would choose as the best coach in the world, and why. My best manager is Jose Mourinho, said Eto'o. Jose Mourinho's takeover of La Liga from Pep Guardiola is one of the solid reasons why he should be considered the special one. Jose Mourinho had a successful three-year tenure at Real Madrid, winning the Copa del Rey in 2011, La Liga in 2012, and Supercopa de España in 2012. During that time, he also set a new club record of 32 consecutive match unbeaten streak in the 2011-2012 season. There at Real Madrid, Mourinho had all talents, but he said the reason he couldn't win the Champions League is because he has no African striker. I tried Emmanuel Adebayor, but it was a loan move, so Madrid does not like to use loaned players, said the special one. Adebayor is another African striker that shined under Mourinho and another player that calls him the best coach. The Togolese played for top clubs such as Monaco, Arsenal, Manchester City, Real Madrid and Spurs. Mourinho coached him during his time in Madrid. I love Mourinho. We had a great relationship, and he was the one who brought me to Madrid, although it wasn't easy for him to find a place for me on the side, Adebayor said. Perfect example of Manchester United. They don't believe much in African strikers. No wonder I didn't enjoy much success there. Some strikers give you league titles, but African strikers gives you Champions League titles. If you remember under my watch at Man United, I made Rashford world class at very young age. We won Europa League and other honors. I left, and he got new lessons from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, so he forgot to score goals. It's painful to see. When Mourinho was at Manchester United, Marcos Rashford was the central striker he used to win many games, including winning the Europa Cup. On the 4th of May 2021, Mourinho was appointed head coach of Roma from the start of the 2021-22 season, replacing compatriot Paolo Fonseca. In his first transfer window at Roma, Mourinho brought in several significant signings in the summer, including Tammy Abraham for 40 million euros. Abraham made his Serie A debut on the 22nd of August, assisting twice as Roma defeated Fiorentina 3-1. Tammy Abraham was instrumental in part of the team that won Roma's first title under Mourinho, defeating Feyenoord in the 2022 UEFA Europa Conference League final. This was Roma's first trophy in 11 years. Jose Mourinho was named Portuguese Coach of the Century by the Portuguese Football Federation in 2015. Famous for his strategic expertise, what makes Mourinho one of the best in the business is his innate ability to extract the best performance from the players, especially African footballer, by making them believe they are world beaters. 
Ask any player who's been under his wing, and he'll wax lyrical about how Mourinho changed his game for the better. With footballers of various diversities playing their trade at Europe's top clubs, his motivating techniques are one to marvel at. He'll make you believe that you have it in you to be amongst the very best in the world. No one would have expected a team in Portugal claiming Europe's biggest prize back in 2004, or an English club named Chelsea that shook the very supremacy that Arsenal and Manchester United had for years. It was third time lucky as he did the same with Inter Milan. Despite being in charge of Real Madrid, the biggest club in the world, toppling Barcelona, arguably the best team in the land at that time, was Mourinho's crowning glory. Long story short, Mourinho loves being the David amongst the Goliaths and having his back to the wall. All this achievement is based on one ideology, Mourinho unleashing average African striker to their prime. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for videos like this weekly.